Hopefully you noticed if you were uh, doing this uh, little mini exam at home, uh, hopefully you noticed that I was actually kind of being a little tricky here. Um, so the question is, number two, what is the nominal dimension of a CMU block? Uh, so uh, first thing we have to think about is, all right, CMU block, that's a concrete masonry unit. That's like a really standard concrete, uh, concrete block. Uh, so let's see if I can do a quick version of it here. Oh, this is a terrible version. All right. Very exciting. Uh, right. So there's our concrete block. Uh, and uh, one of those blocks, th there are probably, uh, I don't know, 30 or 40 different versions of standard block sizes. But having said that, probably 80% of the block that gets used is this one very simple type of block. Uh, it's used all the time and uh, a vast majority of, of the situations. And in this situation, this is actually 16 inches by eight inches by eight inches. So it's a uh, eight, uh, 16 by eight by eight uh, would be the answer or eight by eight by 16. Um, and the tricky thing that I did here is I actually asked you for nominal dimensions and generally in a question like this people would be really asking uh, for the actual dimensions um, because there's a difference between nominal and actual. The nominal it means the named dimension. This is what we call it. We call it a 16 by 8. Uh, and so that's a useful important number and it actually is that when you include the mortar beds. The actual numbers here would be, uh, usually it's about a 3 eighths of an inch uh, mortar bed, so it would be 15 and 5 eighths, and 7 and 5 eighths, and 7 and 5 eighths. And those would be inches. So if I had actually asked, instead of nominal, if I had asked actual, you would answer it 7 and 5 eighths by 7 and 5 eighths by 15 and 5 eighths. Uh, so this system uh, is a, a way of sort of very simple way of having a two-handed process where I butter it with the mortar, I have the two hands, I lift it up, I place it into place. Three of these in a row, 16, 16, and 16, is gonna get me 48 inches. 48 inches obviously is tied into all the other uh, modular dimensions that happen on job sites. So 16 inch uh, stud spacing, 24 inch stud spacing, four by eight sheets of plywood, uh, all of those things, they're all on the same basic module. Uh, this is in the United States and other places everything gets different, um, although you'll find similar, uh, similar issues, similar ways of being modular. So uh, this system allows you to, without really even thinking about it, tie uh, like if you know that it's you know four sh sheets of plywood wide, you can then figure out very quickly how many uh, blocks those are, how many CMU blocks those are. Uh, the advantage of the CMU block uh, is there's all sorts of advantages. It's a very strong material. It has all the holes in it. Why does it have holes? Well, it has holes so you don't have to carry a giant chunk of concrete. Uh, so it's making it lighter uh, in terms of placing it. It also allows you to put rebar going through uh, so that things can be tied together. Each of the different courses can be tied together. Uh, all of those things kind of, they're all modular enough that across a whole wide range of uses, these things can be used in any one of those ways. So you can be without rebar, it can be with rebar, it can be filled grout into the center, it can be not filled grout, uh, just a, a dry set. Um, there's a whole series of different ways it can be used, but by the simplicity of it, the, the sort of nature of everybody understanding exactly what they're getting, it's very simple setup. How big the holes are, therefore how light the block is, there's a lot of range of that, but the basic idea will hold true on a whole lot of these. Then you can also get into specialty ones that are four inches or six inches or uh, uh, four inches tall. Um, there's a, a big range of other possibilities, but like I said, the vast majority of them fall right into this category.